Hey everyone, today I'm coming to you with a review on the brand new Star Wars The Black Series Andor Mon Mothma. Now I gotta say, I was really looking forward to getting this figure. I always wanted a Mon Mothma in the Black Series line, especially since we got the Admiral Akbar figure. This wasn't necessarily the design that I was expecting. I was thinking that they would have started with the Return of the Jedi design, but I do have to say, getting this figure in hand, I think I prefer this design of a costume at least, overall compared to the actual Return of the Jedi design, but hey, that is just my opinion. But I do have to say, I am a little bit disappointed in this figure with a variety of things, and I will get into that in the actual review. Which, speaking of which, let's get into the review for the brand new Star Wars The Black Series and or Senator Mon Mothma. Now, as always, I do want to start off with the packaging for this figure. It is in your standard plastic-free Black Series box, but on the front, you have the Black Series logo, as well as a render of the figure, which looks absolutely amazing. I really do like the pose that they did put her in. Star Wars and or there, Senator Mon Mothma, some other information. There is the Galaxy Packaging image. She is next to the and or, as well as the Luthan figure. She is number seven in the and or series line. Nothing on the bottom. On the back there, you can see the price, just your standard Canadian Black Series price at GameStop, at least. Senator Mon Mothma. In an era filled with danger, deception, and intrigue, Cassian Andor embarks on a path that will turn him into the rebel hero who will challenge the evil Galactic Empire. Hmm, that's not Mon Mothma's bio, but yeah, that's the bio for all the Andor figures, which they did that with the Obi-Wan Kenobi galaxy packaging, and I wasn't a huge fan of because I really do want to know what they would have said for each of these individual figures, especially because most of them are brand new, but it's just a very minimal gripe. On the side, you do have the figure as well as the measurements of the figure figure being 5.7 inches or 14.5 centimeters, plastic free packaging, uh, nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom. So without further ado, let's get into the Mon Mothma figure herself. And here we have the Mon Mothma figure herself, which yeah, she looks, she looks very, very good. As you can see, the sculpting on this figure is very, very nice. And as you can see, she's one of the Black Series figures that uh, stands the best. No, I have to say that is my main gripe with this figure, and I thought I would demonstrate that there, but she is so very hard, if not impossible, to stand. And the reason for that is I don't like what they did with the torso of this figure. It is kind of the definition of a traffic cone for an action figure. You get little to no movement, and as you can see, the legs can't this is the range of movement with them you can't even move them that much if at all and to make it even worse she has high heels which you know that just makes her even better to stand as you can see but i guess with this mon mothma figure you're not going to really have her in any action poses she's kind of just gonna stand there and i guess once you do get her to stand which if i can it's not going to happen. I can't wait for the comparisons. That's going to go very well. I guess we're just going to hold her for this video. But once you get her to stand, she does look very, very good. She kind of has this holy looking outfit with this gold. I don't think we've ever gotten that kind of color of gold in the Black Series. Kind of just looks like an angel. I don't know if that's just me, but this whole costume is very, very holy. I guess that's the word I'll use to describe it. But as for the rest of the figure, the head sculpt though on this figure is by far my favorite part because they absolutely nailed the photo reel and the whole sculpt of it really does encapsulate the actress. I don't exactly remember her name off the top of my head, but she looks like she was just ripped off the screen from the Andor series. And I really do enjoy the hair that we have going on here. I do prefer it more than the Return of the Jedi design, which that was kind of just short. This has some kind of swoop going on in the sculpt there really does encapsulate how it did look in the show. And and I gotta say, the paint doesn't really miss uh, behind the ear, not on that side. Uh, I guess a little on that side, not as bad as the Black Series Hunter per se, but still it does look pretty good overall. And she does have some earrings, which are kind of unique to get in the Black Series line. But yes, by far this head sculpt is easily my favorite part of this figure. Now for the rest of the figure, it is pretty straightforward. And as I mentioned, it is a traffic cone of a figure. What you see is really what you get. I mean, that kind of goes with any figure, but especially with this, you get like no articulation and the thing is is she does have fully articulated legs they have full joints they look like they would be very very poseable in fact but you don't get the chance to even begin to utilize that because this is completely uh blocking the movement of those which you know i guess makes sense i just think they could have possibly designed this figure a little bit better to allow those legs to move whether that would have been soft goods if this part would have been soft goods that would have definitely allowed a little bit more movement this still would have gotten the way or if the whole 
whole thing was soft goods, that would have definitely been hard, but I just think they maybe could have designed this a little bit better to allow better articulation. But as it stands, like I mentioned, once you get her to stand, which is a daunting task at that, she does just do that. She doesn't really do anything else. You don't get any accessories with her. She does have a trigger, a uh, trigger finger, a trigger finger. So she could hold a gun on paper, but you aren't included with one. And this other hand is kind of just a relaxed hand on the box. She kind of just has the hand down and is just posed like that. And that's probably exactly how I'm going to have her posed on the shelf. But other than that, as you can see, I don't really think there's a lot more to talk about here. As I mentioned the gold earlier in the video, I really do like this kind of shade of gold that they went with. She looks very angelic. And you know what? What a perfect video to make on Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. And then the silver does look very good as well. I just think the design overall completely looks like how she looked in the Andor series. But that being said, she is very, very stiff and definitely hard to stand. But other than that, let's get into the articulation of this Mon Mothma figure. Uh-oh. Now for the articulation on this Mon Mothma figure, ooh, ooh, some of the best Black Series articulation I have seen in years by far. No. That is completely and utterly not the case. But anyway, the head does go up that much. Down, side, side, full 360. So good range on the head, which is especially important with this figure. Arms do go out that much. Down, full 360, single jointed elbows. And then there is rotation. And then the hands go up that much, which is good. Same thing on this side. But going down, this big chunk of plastic does get in the way. So you don't get that much range going down. But you still get a little bit. Full 360 on both sides. Uh, and then, yeah, ab crunch. It looks like there would be a joint. It feels like there would be a joint. Like, you kind of get something there, but it's not really going to stay as this is just one traffic cone piece of plastic, like I mentioned. And then for the rest of this figure, you do get fully articulated legs there, as you can see. And there is really no point in showing them because you won't be able to utilize them, but they are fully articulated, I assure you. But I guess let's just focus on the ankles. They go up, not at all, really down a little bit and ankle rocker pivot but yeah very very weak articulation on this mon mothma figure which i guess is fair because like i mentioned numerous times she's not going to really do anything except just stand there but still i think they could have done something a little bit better than what we have here now, first for comparisons, here we have the Mon Mothma next to the Luthen figure from Andor, as well as Andor from Andor. This is the figure from the B2 Emo set, although he is the exact same figure that is in this wave. I have a review for this uh, that was out a long, long time ago, so you could check that out. I don't think I'll do a review for the new one. I am going to get it for the Galaxy packaging, but I'm just going to sell the figure to my friend. But if you want to see a review for this, just go check out that video. It's probably from about three, four, five months ago around then. That's not very specific, but you get what I mean. And then this Luthen review will be coming out very, very soon. I love this figure. Next up for comparisons, here we have the Mon Mothma next to the Saw Gerrera from Rogue One, as well as the Admiral Akbar figure. Here we have Mon Mothma next to the standard Black Series Stormtrooper, as well as a Rebel Trooper from A New Hope. Lastly, for comparisons, here we have the Mon Mothma next to the Archive Princess Leia from A New Hope, as well as the Antok Merrick figure from Rogue One. Now for my final thoughts on this Senator Mon Mothma figure from the Andor series. I have to say Hasbro did a okay job on it. I'm not disappointed by it in any means. I just think they could have done a way better job with the articulation, a way better job, or just with the choice of material that they use for the sculpt. I don't think it's necessarily bad, and I think if you want a Mon Mothma figure, you'll be happy with this if you can get her to stand, which she did stand pretty well for the uh, comparisons, but it did take a while for her to stand like that, just like so. So yeah, that is kind of my main gripe, is that she doesn't stand that well, and the articulation is kind of just, you know, not there whatsoever you know it is on the arms and the head but the rest of it is very lackluster and she does have the articulation like i mentioned it's just obviously hindered by this big traffic cone plastic dress but other than that with the price and account which i have to say that is a standard black series price but you know it does feel hefty for what you do get here it is just this figure no accessories which does feel a little bit light but you know i did want a andor mon mothma figure or rather just a mon mothma figure in general and i do think the the Andor design was preferable in my opinion. And if you do want a Mon Mothma figure in the Black Series, I think you will be happy enough with this figure. Now for my rating with the price into account, I think I'm going to give her a 7 out of 10. I think that is fair enough for what you do get here. But let me know if you are going to get this figure in the comments below. Are you pleased with it? Are you not? As always, start a conversation down below and I will try my best to respond. But until my next video, thank you so much for watching this one. Happy Easter and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.